Nicholas, Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. Guys, today I'm going to be doing some harvesting uh, from the balcony garden. And as you can see, uh, things have really grown since the last time I shared a video with uh, regards to the balcony garden. Um, but as you can see here on the table, I've got some Swiss chard and some red giant mustard greens that I can harvest. I can harvest some kale and maybe get some of the cilantro and parsley um, that's available and maybe some lettuce. Um, but just wanted to come and let you all see how things are growing. We've had several days of rain and it rained again even today and it's expected to rain again tomorrow and so things are really growing as well as the grass and the weeds um, in the other areas of the garden but right over here I'm going to start over here uh, with the Swiss chard and I've placed my little pan here it's it's dirty I've been using it but all of this is going to get washed so it's okay for me to use this uh, aluminum pan but uh, this is my first harvest uh, of the Swiss chard uh, for this spring season. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Oh, I'll grab it later. I'm trying to be careful not to... Um, cut the middle because that's where it's going to continue to grow. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set the phone down harvest all of my Swiss chard and come back and let you see uh, what my harvest is looking like. So this is my harvest of Swiss chard and um, also I want to share with you that my heavy hitter okra and my Georgia collets have germinated and I will be planting them in the garden very soon but let's go over to the red giant mustard greens and see what I can harvest from it and guys it's also starting to go to seed so I'm going to take all that I can get out of here and then remove the red giant mustards and maybe plant some more Swiss chard in its place harvest of red giant mustard greens and now I'm going to harvest some of that kale right there okay so this is my harvest of kale I went on and I took the bad the yellowing leaves as well uh, but that's my harvest and as you can see I did a good harvesting from it now I think I'm going to get some of this lettuce right here. And of course this is where the red giant mustard greens were. And I will be planting something else in its place. But let me get to the lettuce now. Okay guys, so since harvesting the lettuce, I went to the market garden and harvested a little more of the kale and Swiss chard and more lettuce but also um, I've been baking bread today because I'm preparing for the farmers market on tomorrow and so what you're looking at here these are my um, homemade breads there's cinnamon raisin white and also Italian bread and over here I have eight bags of the kale and this is how they're going to be sold here in a little bag. Uh, nice size quantity of kale. Um, here you see I have my label on it, but I ran out of labels, so I need to print some more. Over here I have two bags 
of the Red Giant Mustard Greens. And they're packaged here. Um, I harvested some cilantro and parsley for, for the homestead. I'm not going to sell those. Uh, but then also here in this chair, I have four bags of the Swiss chard. And in this chair, I have four bags of the mixed lettuce. Oops, sorry. Just to give you an idea what it looks like. And um, also, I will be selling... Uh, vegetable transplants. I've got four trays of 18 each of tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, and things like that to sell tomorrow at the market. Uh, but guys, just wanted to come along and share with you that since I've been growing um, here on the homestead, growing lots of food, um, I've gotten to the point where I grow more than what my family can eat. And so, therefore, I'm able to uh, take the extra and sell at the market and, you know, earn extra income. Um, and this has really been a blessing to me. Um, so I'm really excited about tomorrow and sharing my produce with people in my local community. Um, it's something that all of you all can do and probably even do it much better than what I'm doing because I'm doing it like on a part-time basis uh, because I still work uh, full-time and I'm in school part-time. But this is just a sample of how you can grow food on your homestead and earn extra income. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you all are doing well and are also growing more in 2024. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye. And I don't want to forget about the eggs.